Hello YouTube and welcome back to All Flats. As you can see, I'm playing. D Hold on, no, no, this is a zombie game. It's a zombie MMO. It's not Daisy. Oh my God, it's Warzy. Have I defected? Oh, maybe a little bit. I haven't defected fully. Basically, this is still an alpha, and I think it's probably fair that I give it a bit of a go. And well, let's just see how we get on with it. I've pl I played for a bit, and well. The game needs a lot of work, but it is an alpha, so let's let's give it a, the, the benefit of the doubt and let's just crack straight into it, see how we get on. Who knows, it may work out to be as good as Daisy. Can't believe I just said that. Anyway, this is a Zombies MMO, like I said, uh, from the guys that made War Inc. They've essentially, well, you can say copy if you want, but it's it's not a copy, it's... It's a different game. It's it's I would call it more of an arcadey game. Whereas Daisy's like a simulator. This caters for a far wider variety of uh, of people and playing styles and the art style and the way it plays sort of mimics that as well. Lots of terrible things are in it at the moment, but it is an alpha build. You alpha is alpha, remember. So we're going to go through it. I'm not going to directly compare it to Wars uh, Daisy and then we're gonna go and just see how we get on. Here's my guy. Wow, that was. Oh, they've optimized it. Yay, at last! I was having some real problems with uh, frame rate. In fact, you can see in the top corner that. Well, that's saying 12. I mean, I'm actually getting 20 while I'm recording. Okay, so anyway, this is War Z, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Bit uh, color palettes could do a bit of work. Look at the grass. Do a bit of work as well. It might be because of my settings. I think I've got this on like medium or something. Just to try and eke every last frame out of the recording as possible. It's not really uh it's not really working. At the moment it'll play at 90 frames per second, but then it just drops down to about sort of 15, 20. So we're gonna have to uh make do. Now basic things about War Z that you need to be aware of. Firstly, there is a bar at the bottom. A hot bar, and uh, it's got your various bits and pieces in. Your inventory works in a similar way. You have a weight amount that you can and can't carry. Uh, I'm current, currently carrying nothing. I haven't even got a, uh, I haven't even got any food or drink or anything. Uh, you've got room for a, a main gun, a secondary armor, and a hat. They do love hats in this, and obviously a small backpack type. So. You'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, left hand corner, sorry, you have a food bar, you have a water bar. These are obviously the same as Daisy. Uh, you also have a health meter. The the little chap in there is a health meter. And you'll see the orange bar that's going round at the moment. That is the stamina bar. Now, this is a bit of an area of contention for me. Regardless of what other games have, okay, this map is huge. Do we have a map? Okay, here's a map. Currently, because of the build, uh, this whole map area will be available from Tuesday. There is an update on Tuesday, the 27th of November. Now, we're over here at the moment, so we're going to head towards this city. And it's big, alright? It's a big, big map. And certainly, once they open up this bit, it's, it's going to be huge. So, I don't know, the stamina bar, you don't really move very quickly. Uh, animations, they're, they're sort of organising their animations a bit. In, there's no free view, which I'm not massively keen on. Uh, I, I, I would like the opportunity to free view, and as you saw there, huh? yay, jumps. Well, huh? sort of. <laughs> he sort of jumps. So, I, I, I don't know, I don't see what the point in jump is. You have various things like prone. Which, that's quite a nice nice animation. And, I mean, the trees don't look too bad. I'll whack it onto high on a new vid, on another video. And you can see what they've done thus far with things like optimization, anti-aliasing, things like that. So, the gameplay. Well, we'll get into a city and then I'll show you about the gameplay. So, we're moving up to a city now and there are a... Uh, wow, look at that. That was a bad day, wasn't it? Cars, 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 bridge, 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 no bridge. Oh dear. Uh, I, I also have a couple of corrections. I thought I had this on medium, this is actually running on high at the moment. So, th these are 
by and large, the, the alpha textures that we're dealing with. The cities look pretty good, though. I mean, I don't like the fact that I have to hold down crouch. I'd like that toggled. But, all in all, what is that noise? You hear that? Oh, God, that's annoying. Okay, anyway, right. So, the city looks pretty nice. Um got an advert up there for Colorado this map is called Colorado it's the only one that's available at the moment there will be others once the game is fully released now if you'll notice my character he's slightly left of central which doesn't is not it's got no bearing on his political sense that that is the way that this works so when you have a gun you're also slightly left of central with no crosshairs and uh, that's a, that's an interesting experience trying to shoot things when when it's like that man the noise that's here outrageous so these are the buildings every building I believe is enterable now they've worked they've done a bit on there and they they've, they don't look too too bad inside uh, we're gonna see some zombies soon I'd have thought and that will be a bad day because zombies really are a nuisance on this. What they've tried to do, whereas in DayZ that zombies are more of a a slight hindrance, shall we say, in War Z they're a real pain in the ass. And I, I don't know, but maybe maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it isn't. I personally I don't like that because of the uh, because of the PVP aspect of this game. Oh, excuse, I'm going to have to turn down the volume. Hold on. better that's better <laughs> okay so yeah because of the PvP aspect which uh, is 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 just natural in these types of games I can hear a zombie um, the, the PvE part of it I don't feel needs to be that much of an impact uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel to me like these games need dramatically overpowered zombies what they need is a, a, a nice balance and at the moment I I don't know I, I think the zombies are a bit a bit much but uh, some people might love them I, I don't know it's, it's a personal preference of mine as opposed to as opposed to it being a defining point and it's one of those things that you just get used to I, I, I would imagine that once once you'll get into this game you won't really notice it. It's one of those things that just sort of happens to be there and it seems a bit strange because it's all very new and y you know what I mean. Okay, so the towns are fairly derelict at the moment. Did I see a shop somewhere? I thought I saw a shop. But you have supermarkets where you pick up food and drink and hats. Lots of hats, like I mentioned earlier. And... They're cool. They they work on. They're fairly sparse. Oh, good. I was thought I was running down a dead end then. They're fairly sparsely populated. I have found one gun uh, in my limited time of playing, and well, hopefully we'll see. Okay, so here, what is that? A skull mask. That's the most useless thing I could ever think to put in a game, but they love it. So uh. Quit. So now I am wearing a skull mask. It, 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 that doesn't exactly a, a, attract me to people, I wouldn't have thought. They're more likely to shoot me because I'm wearing it. However, it is what it is. Right, Humvees over there. Vehicles are not implemented at the moment. They're coming in what they've called the foundation build, which I'm guessing was a troll at Daisy or specifically Dean Hall, because Daisy have called their beta the foundation build as well. So, uh,. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, that was that was just them being a pain, I think. But nonetheless, it's out on Tuesday, and Daisy has not released a beta yet. They're they're doing a lot of their testing with the mod, and well, we all know what Daisy does. This is this is something different. It's trying to make an impact, and if it's if it's ruffling feathers, then maybe that's maybe that's what how they want to go about it. I don't know. It's not it's not particularly the way I'd go about trying to promote my game by just 
annoying everyone else, but each to their own. It's obviously working, so I'm talking about it now. So I suppose it's one of those no such thing as bad publicity things. In fact, I didn't give the buildings enough credit. All right, in this current graphical setting, they're not they're not amazing, but I'm sure once this has all been pos polished up and touched up on this uh, in this patch that's coming up Tuesday, these are all going to look really great. I'm really looking forward to seeing these. I do need to find a building with... I've just found some drink, and I really need to find a supermarket or a shop of some description. So I'm going to look around for that, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I had every intention of sort of just leaving the uh, leaving the city. Now, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot here, but as you can see, our path is blocked. So, we are now going to have a look at the zombies. And hopefully they'll demonstrate to you what a pain they are. That's quite a lot of them. But for, for the purposes of demonstration, we will go there. What you will have noticed... Oh Christ, there is a lot there. Have they seen me? We're moving among them. Okay, he's seen me. Right, now it's time to leg it. Okay, now this is where we have the slight problem between... The zombies... Oh my god, that was lying on the floor. Have I just come down to dead end? Oh, bollocks. <coughs> okay, so you would have seen I just took a hit there. Which uh, did it has it doesn't have a noise and not much of an animation effect unfortunately at the moment, but now you're going to see the fact that oh, I need to use my jump. Now you're going to see the problem I have with zombies at the moment. So if this was a real zombie situation, okay, I would I would be able to run a lot further than 100 meters. If I would be sprinting my bollocks off at the moment, if that was the case, if there were actually zombies after me, and uh, as you can see I'm not, what I'm doing is I'm getting followed by a massive train of zombies, and you might think, well, zombie apocalypse, I mean, I, I argued this with G the other day, and he, I was like, well, he was like, oh, zombie apocalypse, they'd be able to keep running, that's the nature of the, uh, of the fantasy zombie, that they can, they have extra human strength, so you, you should expect that sort of thing, but what, what annoys me is that I think zombies should be able to jog. They should run at this speed, and I should be able to outrun them. Okay, because in real life, I would actually be hammering it down here. If I had a stitch that you would need to physically reattach my sides with because of running, I would still be hammering it down here. There, there will be no two ways about it, okay? So as you can see, I'm very nearly dead now. The screen is graying out. I'm going to take one more hit, and boom, there we are. That is me dead. That's what I don't like about the zombies. But, in my fault, I go into a, I've been into a, uh, been into a city, and, well, that's, that's the nature of it, I suppose. Cities are not supposed, you're not supposed to go into them. And because I did, that happened. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick video and introduction to War Z. This will be continued to think. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make the effort to try this game, especially with the foundation build coming out soon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Old Flads, and I shall speak to you soon. Cheers and goodbye.